Good morning and welcome to today's PSA programming here on KNCI, KZZO, KYMX, and KHCK. Operated by Bonneville International, I'm Cody Robinson. My first guest is Amy Delicio, CEO of the Dairy Council of California. She's here to discuss the great work that they do, June being Dairy Month, why dairy is a great food and food choice, their mobile dairy classroom, and so much more. Thanks for being with us. Could you introduce yourself and provide a little background on what you do? Hello, my name is Amy Delicio. I'm currently the CEO here at the Dairy Council of California. Um, and my background is I am a registered dietitian nutritionist with a master's in public health. And I currently oversee the work that we do here at the Dairy Council, which includes, you know, providing education to the community, equipping partners with messages on positive nutrition, as well as, you know, building out partnerships and collaborations um, across the state of California to provide nutrition education to um, school children and health professionals. Now, what is the Dairy Council of California and how long has there been one? Yeah, so the Dairy Council of California has been around for over 100 years um, and it was started by dairy farmers right here in California. And it really was a nutrition organization um, originally to help educate children on health and get um, milk into the schools to provide a way to prevent rickets in children. Um, But right now, you know, we've evolved over the time, but we're still a nutrition organization. We work under the direction of the California Department of Food and Agriculture on the behalf of the dairy community. So we work with dairy farmers and processors. Um, And again, we partner with different organizations across the state of California to provide nutrition in schools and communities to really educate on the positive role of dairy that it plays in your diet, as well as, you know, overall health and nutrition. What motivated you to do this kind of work? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, working in the world of nutrition when I started out, just kind of seeing, well, we really need to look, work on prevention, right? I started out and I, I grew up in a small town in Ohio um, where we were maybe more low income and working in my rotations for my um, RDN, I really saw a lot of sick people and started to think about why are people not well? How can we use nutrition as a preventive um way to support people. And then you start to dig in and you really see there are people that have access to healthy foods and people that don't. It could be financial. It could be where they live. So it really opened up my eyes to really working in public health nutrition. So part of that is to really educate people on the value of nutrition, how it helps to them to reach their full potential, but also working with partners and communities and government to include more access to healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and dairy foods. Now, what do you love about your job? Yeah, I really love, um, you know, nutrition is something that everyone needs at all stages of life. And also I get to work um, at the nexus of nutrition, health and agriculture. So, you know, not only do we work in educating people on nutrition, but we also see the agriculture side. Dairy is actually um, the largest produced crop in the country is produced here. And you really see the value of how dairy goes from um, basically farm to fridge farm to um, school in about 48 hours. So it's really exciting to educate people on nutrition and how it can support them at any stage in their life to be, you know, the healthiest person they can be, reach their full potential, and as well as see that connection to California dairy farmers. What is the goal for the Dairy Council? Yeah, so we really want to support lifelong healthy eating habits for all Californians, right? And also help to increase access to healthy food, like I mentioned. So we really want to see dairy a part of, part of healthy eating patterns. And we also want to um, continue to support uh, families in making healthier choices. And that could be through, um, you know, partnering with several nutrition pro- programs like the school breakfast and lunch program where they serve uh, dairy as part of their meals as well as other healthy foods like fruits and vegetables or other Um, Even right now, Summer Meals is out there and they're serving healthy foods to families, um, children everywhere across California to support healthy eating. How are you celebrating and promoting June is Dairy Month? Yeah, so June is National Dairy Month and it's a great way to start off our summers um, with nutrient-rich foods. So we really take this time to appreciate the variety of milk and dairy products that are available and contribute to healthy, sustainable diets, as well as celebrate our California farm families. So Um, Some of the things we're doing this month, we collaborated with the 49ers Foundation on a PSA that really talks about the important contributions of dairy on and off the field and um, how it contributes to nutrition security and healthy communities. Uh, We've developed an activation kit for our partners that we've shared out on social media and through our newsletters. We've also hosted teach and taste activities in classrooms across California where students get to sample different types of dairy foods like different cheeses, yogurts, cottage cheese, and milk. 
Um, and some of the other things we did in honor of that was publishing the Healthy Eating Table. Um, it's one of our magazines that really focused on the first 1,000 days of life. Um, and we're also hosting a nutrition webinar in collaboration with the California Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And why is dairy a great food and food choice? Yeah, so dairy, you know, again, it comes in so many different varieties. You can choose, you know, what fits best for you, um, whether you like milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, um, ice cream here and there. Why not? But of the value of um, dairy foods is great. It improves bone health, which many of us know, you know, from the calcium. But there's also many other benefits. It reduces blood pressure, uh, can have a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. There's also this connection to improve digestive health and gut health, which we know is really helps and benefits overall health. We also um, are seeing new research where it's showing it supports brain health and academic achievement in young children and school age children. So, of course, that's super important. It's also usually easy, accessible in communities. Kids are getting it at school. You find it in most of your grocery stores, different varieties. Um, and it's low processed, available. And like we said, you know, it comes to you. It's farm to fork. It comes to you, your table within about 48 hours. So it's really um, fresh and healthy as well. Now, how does the Dairy Council promote nutrition and nutrition equity? Yeah, so, you know, we really look at providing all of our resources and programs at no cost to communities and community partners, so those are available. Um, we continue to work to make sure that dairy is easily accessible, so we know it's at schools, we want to see it in different grocery stores and communities. We partner with local organizations, um, like maybe pantries and other community organizations, and sometimes are able to offer them grants to provide additional education in their communities um, that is really culturally appropriate and relevant. Um, and we really believe that dairy can be part of that solution to nutrition security, again, because of its unique nutrition profile, it's low cost, it's widely available. Um, and it's fits across many different diet patterns and cultures. So um, it's really a way to promote nutrition um, at a low cost for everyone. Mm -hmm. What is the dairy matrix? Yeah, so the dairy matrix is like kind of this unique composition of dairy foods. And it, you know, in, a, in addition to the protein and vitamins and minerals that we're aware of, there's also these non nutrient components known as bioactive compounds, which are embedded within dairy foods, and they really promote health. Like we talked about, it improves gut microbiome and gut health, and these can really build your support for more immunity and healthy overall health. And you can really see those if you include yogurt and cheese in your diet um, as part of your healthy choices. What are some of the essential vitamins and nutrients found in milk? Yeah, so milk has 13 essential nutrients, you know, that both children and adults need for healthy immune function, stronger bones, hydration, growth and development, and it supports overall wellness. And some of those um, nutrients you might think of are protein, calcium, phosphorus, a variety of vitamins like A, D, B2, B3, B5, and B12. And it also includes minerals like iodine, potassium, selenium, and zinc. And all of these work together to improve health. And why would you say the work of the Dairy Council is so meaningful and necessary? Yeah, so I think um, it's really important because we provide this free education. We really value partnerships with different organizations to reach all communities here in California to have that collective impact on nutrition and health. Um, and we also work to build this value for dairy agriculture um, Dairy ag is, again, the biggest agriculture in here in California. 99% of our farms are ran by farm families. So we like to really help to connect that link of where your food comes from and how it is nutritious and helps you grow, too. Is dairy important for all life stages? I think when we think milk, we think kids, right? Yeah, really, dairy fits into any life stage, but we are seeing some really critical life um, stages where it might even be more important. So. Um, one of the stages that we look at is the first 1,000 days of life. So that includes when moms are pregnant or other people are pregnant and having babies um, zero up until the age of two. It's a very critical growth and development period where you're seeing, you know, babies double in size and um, have a lot of brain growth during that time. So we're seeing that good connection of including milk and dairy as first foods including whole fat milk in the first year of life uh, from one to eight, from age one to age two, to really see the best um, health results. 
And then also for kids, they're also growing and learning constantly. So milk and dairy provides those 13 essential nutrients during that key life of stage and sets up that foundation for adult health. And we're also starting to look at that later stage in life, older adults, because the California population and the U.S. population is aging. So looking at the 55 and older and, you know, more and more um, older adults are looking at ways to we're living longer, right? And we want to be healthy. So how can milk and dairy actually provide that? And there's been some studies showing, you know, improved bone health, overall health, less falls and things of that nature. So we really feel that dairy fits in all life stages and can be really healthy um, addition to anyone's diet. Now, I heard the Dairy Council won a Telly Award for its Let's Eat Healthy Together broadcast series. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, that was a series that we partnered with the Los Angeles Unified School District and the local PBS station in Los Angeles. Um, It is a 12-episode series. Um, related all about nutrition, the five food groups, the dairy nutrition. It has a food. It takes students on a food adventure. So those those episodes aired on PBS throughout the winter and spring. And yes, we won two Telly Awards: a bronze award for the overall series and a silver award for the breakfast episodes. So we're really excited to you know extend those um, episodes across California and in, in schools across California, so students can continue to learn from those. Um, video series. Good. Now, what is the mobile dairy classroom and why is hands-on education so vital? Yeah, so we um, have that mobile dairy classroom. It's kind of, the uh, we like to call it the original farm to fork. It's our original learning lab. It's an assembly that is offered to schools across California that really uses a live working cow to teach um, the students about where their food comes from and also about how, how to make healthy choices across the five food groups. Um, We do those in person, but also we now offer those sessions virtually, and those can be booked online at healthyeating.org from any school site that might be interested, and we really feel like this furthers agricultural literacy, Um, students understand where their food comes from, how how cows are well cared for by the farmer, and they have this unique experiential learning experience. And we fit, we hear people remember, we actually have had a case where we've gone to a school and a teacher was like, hey, I remember getting this when I was a student, and now their students are also receiving the same assembly. So it's something that people really remember, and it's um, really one of our signature programs. Now, is the Dairy Council statewide, and could you talk about the communities that you serve? Yeah, we do serve California statewide, and now that we offer some of our virtual programs and digital resources, we do know that people across uh, the country and of the, even the world might log in or um, download some of our resources. But yeah, we, we definitely work. Um, you know, we can't do all of this work alone. We have an, a really great staff, but we work with partnerships across the states. So we work with schools and educators, other nutrition champions, healthcare professionals, um, and maybe some of our government agency partners to really get these resources out in the hands of families. Um, And we do a variety of different um, events um, and educational programming to reach Californians. And we do provide all of these resources at no charge. Oh, that's fantastic. So what kind of staffing do you have and what roles do they serve? Yeah, so we have um, a variety of staff, you know, some that are regionally based working in the film, building those partnerships that I just spoke of. We have registered dietitians that are really continuously studying the science of nutrition and how dairy fits into healthy diets. Um, And we also have media and communication professionals that are, you know, providing those messages through social media and blogs and other communication tools to get to the broader um, Californians. Um, And then, of course, we have our mobile dairy class room instructors that are instructing at those those assemblies and working with um, cows and calves across California. Now, do you work closely with the dairy farmers and dairy processors? Absolutely. So this um, is kind of like we are funded through the dairy farmers and dairy processors, kind of their philanthropic contribution um, to the state of California to really provide um, this free education to everyone. And um, we're able to kind of leverage those dollars to collaborate with other local, state, national, and international organizations to really see that vision come through and have greater outcomes and impacts. And again, really at the heart of it, we really want to see strong, healthy Californias growing up um, and achieving, you know, and also having that academic achievement from having those healthy breakfasts and lunches. So, what are ways that you activate the work of the Dairy Council in the field? Yeah, 
so we also we implement the Let's Eat Healthy initiative, and that really is a network of partners from different, you know, the education, healthcare, and other community partners. Um, and we work together, and we create a network of sharing and learning. And also, um, you can join us. Go back to our website at healthyeating.org slash Let's Eat Healthy, and you can find ways to join our movement. You can sign up to be a partner, and you'll receive different e-newsletters and learn more about what we're doing and how you can get involved in different activities and events that we host. Have there been times when you've seen the Dairy Council improve lives? Yeah, so we hear it from, you know, our partners or like our students, like I mentioned, are really excited about seeing that cow. Um, We really hear our partners are really happy using our resources and how they've made a difference in their classroom. We see all of these successes of really uh, making an impact and difference in these different communities. Now, what's the future of the Dairy Council of California? Yeah, so I think we're going to continue to stay true to our roots and providing this ongoing free nutrition education, continuing to connect nutrition and agriculture together and look at farm to school and farm to fork opportunities. Um, We also want to um, be modern and look at what are ways that we can reach uh, communities and families through digital means, whether that's online or Um, making those more accessible through virtual tours and things of that nature. So we want to continue to build out those messages and work with partners um, and have these Let's Eat Healthy champions across California, really educating our students um, and families on the important role that dairy and other healthy eating plays um, in overall health for people of all ages. Now, do you have a website and can you get more information on what we discussed today there? Absolutely. Our website is healthyeating.org, and you can get a wealth of information if you're really interested in some of our um, June is Dairy Month activities. That is healthyeating.org slash dairy, and you can find our PSA with the 49ers around, uh, as well as our activation toolkit there as well. Great. And do you have social media channels? You can find us on Facebook at healthyeating.org. Um, And we're also on other channels, just Google Healthy Eating, and then we'll connect you to our Instagram, Facebook, and different channels to follow us and learn more about what we're doing across the state and how you can get some of our resources. All right. Thank you. That was Amy Delicio with the Dairy Council of California. If you would like more information on what we discussed today, visit healthyeating.org. That's healthyeating.org. If you have questions regarding this program, please direct your correspondence to Public Affairs and Care of This Station.